Hey, pre-notification gang. Coming along great, Rip. Is it resub creamy? In Saturn, tired, spode, and Justin, and Schmokes. <clears throat> of course, I've heard of AI Jesus. It's a prime stuff, then resub great in statics. In general. You do the challenge Ludwig is doing. It's the uh, uh, 10 restaurants, four people thing or something, right? I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that one. Thanks the resub whiff and give sub 360 and the resub dishonest. Replug your mic, it's staticky. Is that fixed? Thanks to the prime jerk. There's some Washington and Greg. And there's some Brett in soda and frosty. And tier one wonder. And the resub Xyothal. Zy oh, Xythal. Taco Bell is very good. Yeah, Taco Bell is like really good. Thanks for five subs, Cameron. I was shocked. I thought there'd be like a lot of stinkers on the menu, but it was really good. Dorito cheesy gordita crunch is life changing, isn't it? Oh, it was so good, yeah. Thanks to the gift sub durium and the resub AG butter and prime Reggie and the bits Viking. And the resub bomb. Resub Zoid, Quan, give sub chilling. Resub Big Man. You didn't put the five layer burrito in S, you fraud. That was like the probably most elite tier list, like in terms of like each zone. A C on the Taco Bell tier list would have been an S from pretty much any other restaurant. Everything was like actually super high quality. So it was hard. Made it tough. Things are you said Panda, Aaron, Alex, and the Bits, Marlboro. No, I can't say I heard of that one. Didn't hear about that soldier. I 
Never knew they used meat lower quality than dog food. Yeah, so that was the Taco Bell big scandal back when I was a kid. Their meat was rated lower than dog food. It was like D-grade meat or some shit. And then at some point over the last two decades, they completely changed everything. So now they have the highest quality ingredients out of fast food restaurants for the most part, which was nuts. Such a turnaround. Their meat is just soy. You're mixing them up for Subway. Taco Bell's meat is some of the highest grade. Here, pull it up. Let's go back in time, though. So here's the lawsuit over it in 2011. They used to have legitimately awful quality food. And then turned it around to make it, like, incredibly high-quality food. So now today... Let me see. Where is it? All I keep getting is like the old D grade beef. Why the fuck can't I find any articles about their change? Well, maybe because of the lawsuit. Thanks to Resub Wubsy, Pelican, Griff, Sebastian. Panzer, Ziltoid, and Tier 1 Legendary, and Tier 1 Tickle. Love Sly Cooper, and the Resub Hydrin. It was in 2019. They removed all artificial colors and flavors from the menu and removed all preservatives and additives from the food and replaced sodium or reduced sodium across the board and enhanced the quality of their ingredients. It was 2019. And by 2020, they were listed as one of the healthier fast food chains. And now their quality is like almost unrivaled. It was a crazy turnaround. From fucking dog food meat to now. Thanks for five good subs, Tickle. Appreciate that. And the resub. Cock and Verona. The resub Glex and the gift sub Legend Daddy. You think the quality stays the same across the world? No shot. For anywhere but yeah the dog food thing i think was always just like a scandalous headline i don't think it was actually lower quality than dog food or whatever but they had actually horrible quality products i'm pretty sure the whole dog food comparison was only like an attention grabbing thing from back in the day but it was actually horrible quality Things are used to and legend. Yeah, I saw the surgeon that got their license removed from streaming surgeries. Things are used sprite being bad at it because they were distracted. Haven't seen those state and thanks to the bits, Felix. Thanks for 10 gifts of Zolly. Hope you're doing well, man. Thanks for that. P. 
People worldwide love Subway while we consider it low tier in the U.S. Yeah, it might be higher quality elsewhere, but definitely not in the U.S. Thanks to Prime Philip. I don't know anything about the guy that got captured by North Korea. That's what someone was saying just a minute ago. Oh, it, it's what you were saying just a minute ago. I already told you I have no idea about it, so I have no thoughts on it. BK, for example, here actually bangs. Yeah, he must be in, like, the UK or something, because apparently it's really good there. Oh, that's pretty cool, Christian. Like, the video's still up. Well, it's definitely not still up, but you found, like, a re-upload. The soldier was trying to avoid assault charges and military discipline in the U.S., so he ran over to North Korea after joining a private tour group. All right, I'll take a peek. U.S. soldier facing disciplinary action flees into North Korea. What an interesting plan. <clears throat> U.S. Army has identified a soldier who, cro who crossed the... What? Isn't it the... Dem Did they not... Is it no longer the DMZ? Demarcation... I can't even read that word. Demark demarcation line into North Korea. Demarcation line is is the visible line from the DMZ. Okay. I've never heard I've never even heard that. Travis King was a cavalry scout who joined the military in January 2021. He was set to be administratively separated from the U.S. Army after facing disciplinary, disciplinary action for assault. He had been on the Joint Security Area tour as a civilian when he crossed into North Korea. U.S. Forces Korea spokesperson Colonel Isaac Taylor said on Tuesday that a U.S. soldier willfully and without authorization crossed the line during a JSA tour. We believe he is currently in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, custody and are working with our Korean People's Army counterparts to resolve this incident. Huh. He spent 50 days in a detention facility in South Korea after facing disciplinary action for assault. What an interesting plan. I, I, I don't exactly get the thought process, but all right. Could have died. I don't think he's dead. He's definitely captured. I imagine they'd use him for some kind of negotiation. Thanks, Arisa, my boy, Evan, Ninja, Honey, Slime. Empire and P-Dub, the Bits Viking and Legend Daddy. Haven't seen those photos of Snow White. They're making batteries out of crabs. That's kind of cool.
North Korea killed a guy for cutting down a tree. I think he's dead. This is a soldier. They'd absolutely use him for like a negotiation or try and get some kind of info out of him. They wouldn't just execute him. Thanks to the resub ginger wink guppy in the gift sub wave. Oh, uh, it was a bulletin message. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Is it give sub Mars? Are you hyped for the new Spider-Man 2 and Mortal Kombat news coming this week? Didn't know that was coming, but yeah, that'll be cool. Thanks for resub, Bean. The resub can. Sub fisticuffs, seeing Barbie first in the resub and duck. Did you see Disney is possibly being bought by Apple? Didn't see that. Uh, that's an interesting play. Thanks, the resub Nezuko. I don't think they'd allow that to happen. <sighs> That's one of those instances where I feel like there's no shot that would go through, even if they reach some kind of agreement that would get shut down. Thanks to Tier 1 Tiny. Let's read some game golf. And 420k and ADO. You hear about the doomsday fish? No, but I saw there was a giant squid spotting uh, recently, which is kind, of, which is cool. Divers in Taiwan film rare encounter with giant doomsday fish believed to be a harbinger of earthquakes. It's an extremely rare sight of an ore fish off the coast of New Taipei's Ruifang district. Otherwise known as an earthquake fish or doomsday fish, ore fish sightings are believed in Japanese folklore to precede an earthquake or tsunami event. Well, it looks like it was a little off. No, I heard about the drinking borax stuff, though. Thanks to the bits, Corey. And the resub, Jose, Killer, Pog, Salty, and Adio. Let me take a peek at that drinking borax trend. <sighs> yeah, in case of the yawns. Oh, this is... Uh... This is a PSA. Does this show any? This video contains discussion on dangerous TikTok trends, household cleaning products, false health benefits. Seeing some kind of disturbing things on TikTok. I very rarely go on TikTok. In fact, I only use a, I only have a TikTok account. For I want to see some of the borax eaters. Because this is one I don't believe is actually happening.
Well, is this, let me see, is this it? I have officially jumped on the Borax train. Borax? Borax. 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 Go check it out. Y'all need to get off this train. Don't eat sh out of the f laundry box, people. True. Uh, where's where's just some of the videos? Here. Miss, I'm not picking on you. Um, you're just the top comment. But I am seeing this theme of, oh, it's a Darwin Award, or if, you know, X, Y, and Z deserve it because they're part of some group. Um, I don't feel that way at all. I want to make that very abundantly clear. My purpose is to keep people from being preyed on and taking harm, a harmful product, basically, because this is something that is meant to clean. It is God, I just want to see some people eating some fucking borax, huh? TikTok. Some people are feeling better on it. Let me tell you why, but also why this might be really harmful and you need to be careful. So why should you listen to me? My name You're is just trying to Robert hold all the borax for yourself. And as a holistic nutritionist, I don't poo-poo alternative stuff right off the bat. I look into it. I am a big believer in natural health, in supplementation. I am well-trained in these things, which is why I need to talk about borax. Borax is a source of boron, which is an incredibly important trace mineral. It's really good for your bones. It's good for your joints. It's good for your whole body. The problem with borax is that it's a very, very good source of boron. A little bit too good. Oh, I'm getting so sold on it. With boron, you're looking at one to two milligrams. This isn't the RDA or recommended daily intake. That's usually way too low. This is like the supplemental dose to increase. Okay, I just want to see some people eating some fucking borax. Is that so much to ask for? Things of prime. Angry stars in the Risa, Moo and Bronco and Zam and Wolf. That's probably what it was, stoned. And no, I haven't seen it yet stately. Thanks to the bits, Carp. At some point, Carp, yeah. You some chewy. God, I remember making slime with borax. Oh, Jesus Christ, now I'm getting all mixed up with borax. Okay, let me see. If I just type in borax train, will it come up? Let's see. Yeah, because they're trying to keep the truth away from us. But what really sold me on it is when a nutritionist was like, boron, it's a good thing. It's a natural mineral. <laughs> Our body needs it. It's great for pain and inflammation, great for the joints, great for the urinary system, great for the bones. So I was like, fine. Just drink the fucking borax. That's what she recommended with Epsom salt and baking soda. Because the pores in our feet are big enough. Oh my god. <laughs> they're all just talking about borax. It's come. This is day one of... I feel like no one's actually drinking borax. I feel like this is all just another 4chan psyop to see if people start drinking borax. So everyone's just talking about it, but no one's actually doing it. Here's the prime lichen, Reese of Starshine, Chewy, Coldy, Siska, Don't Know in the Prime, Lick. Let's try instead of borax train, borax trend, maybe. Legitimately, no one's doing this. <laughs> it's just people talking about it. It's fake. Okay. This lady's not drinking borax. I think she's a little confused. She's making a borax bath. She's making slime. She's she's making a slime bath. Baking soda. And then you're supposed to 
to do a cup of borax, but I promised Jody would do a full cup because she's very, very concerned. So I did that much. And then we're going to soak for 20 minutes. It's only been 10 minutes, and I don't know that I can do this much longer. It's definitely detoxifying. I don't see any of the black <laughs> parasites that are supposed to come, like, oozing out of my pores. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm good with whatever the results are. I couldn't do the whole 20 minutes. I had to get out. <sighs> All right, that's the closest thing I found is a borax detox. Things that resub yeasty, urona, stretch, and ours. Yeah, we'll probably do that at some point, Carp. Never thought don't put household cleaning chemicals in your body would be a thing that needed to be said. Why? We live in like the golden age of convincing people of actually anything. 100%. People don't trust anyone, so they'll always look for like fringe shit. Like, oh, since no one's talking about this, this might be the truth that the government's trying to keep under wraps. Wait, borax as a cleaning solution? It, you're saying it's good for me? Well, I haven't heard any scientists talk about it, and I don't trust them, so you're probably right. And they'll just start bathing in borax, I guess. It's super, it, like, it's now is the perfect detox. time. So I love detox, yeah. He's a tier one Viking. But I haven't seen anyone drinking it on TikTok. That's the closest thing I've seen here, is that lady taking a borax bath. Things you reset, Matt. No, it's just a complete distrust in authority, I think is what it is. Just a breakdown of common sense. Like, science is wrong about everything. So that's why I do things that science says don't work because they're lying to me all the time. Thus, this has to work. They're keeping the secrets for themselves. That kind of thing. Meanwhile, they're typing on a computer, which is the product of science, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I... I don't know what to tell you. It's it's just a lost cause. Nothing to do about it except laugh at him. So authority can't be corrupt? It absolutely is. But you also need to use a level of rational thought where everything in the world isn't a fucking lie. If it was, your computer wouldn't work, your phone wouldn't work, you probably would have died by now from some kind of curable infection. But since we have antibiotics, you're allowed to live right now. 50, or not 50, probably like 80 years ago, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be dead. You wouldn't be in Twitch chat shit posting. You would be dead. You would have died from like polio, maybe even just like a tooth infection. You'd be dead. Yeah, there's absolutely corruption. Big Pharma is super corrupt. That's why you gotta do, like, legitimate research instead of just take everyone at face value, like the ones saying borax is good for you because it's detoxifying and cleaning your pores and reducing inflammation and joint pain and shit like that. Maybe hear that and be like, I'll look it up. Let me just take a peek at what, like, research and actual science says. But it's all just, like, extremes. Here's some corruption over here. That means everything ever from over here is corrupt. Thus, I'm going to do everything over here, which is it has no basis. But people said it, and people don't lie to me. Is the resub Pato Nayanada and Scout and Ozark and the Tier One Bamboozle and the Prime Explode? Yeah, I just see people bathing in borax. I haven't seen anyone drink it yet, so this one sounds like a bit of a false alarm. Though the borax baths are pretty cute. Is the resub roo? Yeah, it's just, it, it just seems like the closest thing right now is borax baths. This one's fake. Myth busted. I 
Zero sub zero. Take borax up the butt. It's much safer and more effective. You're making a joke, but do you guys not remember bleach enemas? This was big during uh, the onset of COVID. I think it actually started from a church. They made a post about how bleach enemas are the cure to COVID and will keep you safe from COVID forever. So people started doing bleach enemas and a couple people had their entire intestines fried from it. Or not intestines, sorry, colon, not intestines. It didn't go like super high up. It was just like bottom colon. colon part of the lower intestines yeah but when i say intestines that's not what anyone thinks of colon everyone knows intestines i think everyone including myself thinks of like up the upper intestines which is not what got fried for the bleach enema Resub glass. And the prime ninja. People brush their teeth with peroxide to kill bacteria. Nice. Look at the bits, babe. The resub card, Joe. The bits unicorn. Do you remember when Kenneth Copeland blew COVID away with the wind of God? Yeah, thank heavens for him too. Ended up working. It just took a couple of years for it to take effect. He saved us. <clears throat> he fucking did it. Things you said by Zaya. What about bleaching your butthole? Is that unsafe or just a weird thing to do? I don't know if it's unsafe or not. I don't exactly know how the process works. I imagine they don't... <laughs> I imagine they don't, like, penetrate your ass for it. Because, yeah, that'd make it pretty dangerous. You can look it up on YouTube. Yeah, I know they have ass bleaching on YouTube. I talked about that at one point, but I didn't... This is going to be shocking to hear. I didn't really, like, watch it. I didn't hyper-analyze it. Is the resub uni in mesh? back to eating detergent again no this is fake this is baloney 
I looked it up. There's not a single person that ate borax. It's just completely made up. I just there was like two or three people that took a bath in borax, and that's about it. Things are sub ragly. Somebody's grandma probably did it already. Maybe. You guys know uh, potato socks? That's another fun one. That one's harmless. There, this is a very popular one. People believe that potatoes can cure like anything. So what they do is... It didn't start on TikTok. This predates TikTok. But what it would be is they'd tell you to peel the skin off of a potato and then put it on the soles of your feet and then put socks on and then go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, all of the toxins will have flushed into the potato. It's a real thing that they... Hold on. It's not a real thing. But it's a real belief people have. I'm surprised you guys don't know this one. This is this is actually a big one. Um, yeah. They, they basically preach it as like a cure-all kind of thing. This one's been around for a while. Isn't there something like that for onions too? I don't know. I only know the potato one. It's probably just a placebo effect thing. Brother, it's, it's not. It's not even that. It's literally just nothing. The potato fucking oxidizes and gets wet from the moisture in your sock. <laughs> so it gets all yucky looking. It's like the most simple thing ever. But they're like, it's all... The potato's all fucked up looking... So many toxins in my body. So they just keep putting potatoes on their feet. They also carry a potato around in their pocket to help with arthritis. I don't know that one. Can't say I've seen that one. I just know the potato on your feet thing. Oh, that's right. I forgot about those foot patches. Was that the name of the company? Kenoki? Yeah, they used to do this exact same thing as a product. So someone saw the potato shit popping off and did that for foot pads. So what happened is they preached these foot pads as like a detoxifying thing. Wear these foot pads at night, take them off in the morning, and you'll see all of the toxins have left your body onto the pad and the pad's all gross looking. And basically all that happens is exactly what happens to the fucking potato. It, it, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's like actually nothing. But it's super smart because people are dumb enough where they see like, Ew, this is yucky. It came from my body. It, I'm, I'm improved health-wise now. Things that are sub sagacious. The entire detox industry seems to be that. Yeah, that is like the majority of the de detox industry. You can say anything's detoxifying and you get away with the easiest scams of all time. Thanks, you resub, Joe. You're starting to see through it. You're peeking behind the curtain, brother. Don't go too deep. 
think it's a prime Henry. No, I haven't seen it yet, Staley. I saw it got posted, though. Thanks, you resub chronic. Do you ever think there's people that follow all these and think they're smarter for it? Yes, go on Twitter. Go Go anywhere on the internet. I read a story the other day. I don't remember if it was potatoes. I'm going to pull it up real quick. I saw it on Reddit like two weeks ago or something. There was a kid who got sick, like a very young kid who got sick. And he asked, his mom asked the Facebook group if she should take him to the doctor. And the Facebook group said, no, do this holistic treatment instead. Kid died. I don't think it was potatoes, though, but it was something equally stupid. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. It's like two weeks ago. Thanks to the resub work. It actually might have been potatoes, but now I might just be having a false memory. What subreddit was it? Oh, here, this is a classic. This was 10 days ago. There was a couple that was charged after allegedly feeding their baby meth. And if I remember correctly, reading the story, their excuse was they thought it was cocaine. Great, great parents, great family. Fucking tragic. Where was this? Where was this one? Am I on the wrong subreddit? It wasn't that old. Is it Prime Melon? Oh, sorry. I just mixed up two different things. The feeding baby meth couple was not the one that thought it was cocaine. It was this one. Florida baby dies after teen mom adds fentanyl to the bottle, thinking it was cocaine. So she she thought the she she made an honest mistake, giving the baby fentanyl instead of what she, er, giving the baby fentanyl when she meant to give it cocaine. Just unfortunate mix up. Where is the Facebook group one? Was it was it older than two weeks? Thanks to the Prime Visible and the Resub Cat. Jesus, I guess it might have been. about the woman in Alabama that saw a toddler walking on the hide w highway and then disappeared for a day or two? What? No, I don't know what you're referring to with that. Where, where is this story? I really didn't think it was that old. Now I really want to find it. Just give me a second. I'll I'll find it eventually. <clears throat> Is the resub bodacious? 
No, it was the parents. I just can't remember what it was. I it might have it really might have been potatoes in order to cure. Th That's what, exactly what it was. Hold on. Now I can type in the specifics. The kid caught the. It was a very young infant, and got the flu, and. The Facebook, the mom went to Facebook to ask if she should take him to the doctor to get Tamiflu to help. And the Facebook group said no and recommended doing the potato method instead and the kid died. That's what it was. That's 100% what it was. Um. Yes, that's what it was. Found it with that. On Facebook, uh, the Facebook group urged the mom not to give her son Tamiflu, and he died. And I believe they recommended the potato thing here. Hold on. Let me open a new window. Okay. On a recent post that came from the mother of a four-year-old Colorado boy who died from the flu this week, she consulted the group members while noting that she had declined to fill a prescription written by a doctor. The child had not been diagnosed yet, but he was running a fever, had a seizure, the mother wrote, and added that two of her four children had been diagnosed with the flu and the doctor had prescribed the antiviral Tamiflu for everyone in the household. The doc prescribed Tamiflu. I did not pick it up. Tamiflu. Oh, Jesus, they even set up a fundraising page even though they're responsible for the death of their kid. It's so fucking shameless. Post highlights how Facebook groups dedicated to... Uh, where, where was... I, I think it was the potato, right? Isn't that what they told them to do? None of the 45 comments on the mother's Facebook post suggested medical attention. The child was eventually hospitalized and died four days later, according to a GoFundMe started on his behalf by his family. The mother also wrote that the natural cures she was treating all four of her children with, including peppermint oil, vitamin C, and lavender, were not working and asked the group for more advice. The advice that came in the comments included breast milk, thyme, and elderberry. Was it not potatoes? I must, I must have really got that mixed up. I thought they recommended the potatoes. I can't believe peppermint oil, vitamin C, lavender, breast milk, thyme, and elderberry weren't doing the trick, though. What the fuck? She must have bought, like, generic brand, not the premium medicinal breast milk and thyme brand. I don't know how she's not being held responsible. This should, at the very least, be, like, a manslaughter charge. Fucking shame. Being stupid should be criminal to this extent. Oh, true. She might have used non-organic elderberry thyme and um, lavender. You're right. That's what went wrong. That fool. Thanks, you said Isaac, Ted, Bodacious, and the Bits Shack, Derpius, and Josh, and Shack. Oh, I haven't looked into that one, Derpius, but I did see that earlier. But if the kid died with Tamiflu, it's just a whatever moment. I don't think that would have happened with Tamiflu. From what I recall, Tamiflu is actually, like, extremely effective. But if that did happen, he would have had a much better fighting chance as opposed to getting pumped full of peppermint oil, vitamin C, lavender, breast milk, thyme, and elderberry. Things that give sub sweet and the resub wizard and Gutierre.
I'll have to check it out. I didn't know he posted a video about it. Thanks to Resub Cougar. No, it doesn't seem like she got charged with anything. But I always do think a level of stupidity like this should be a crime. I mean, a, a child's dead from it. And it's not like she's going to learn anything from it. She even set up a fucking GoFundMe. Next time one of her kids gets sick, it's going to be the exact same song and dance, but hopefully the kid gets to survive this time. I see tier one faded. Should count as negligent homicide. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it should be something. Should absolutely be something. Yeah, I'll definitely go back to vaudeville when they do like some kind of AI update. Because right now it is unbeatable. <laughs> so I'll, I'll wait. He's a prime lunatic. And tier one tea bag and the resub shady. What you thought was a Nintendo W isn't a W, just a legal obligation. It's still a W no matter how you spin it. But you know what I did learn, and it wasn't until after I posted the video. Nintendo didn't have to play ball that quickly. Apparently, Apple is really, really slow when it comes to shit like this. So, like, let's say a child gets kidnapped and sh they have their phone. And they know they have their phone. It seems Apple's really slow with working with the authorities to get them the information to track it down. Nintendo at least acted very quick. Because of legal re reasons? Yeah, but they, I mean, they didn't have to be as quick as they were. Like I said, Apple doesn't. So their speediness was appreciated. Probably saved her life. Oh, did you beat the game, Adonis? Thanks, you said hypnotic. Because even the developers said that that's the main problem with the game right now, but I, you must have beat it since you're caps locking the strategy. What was the ending, Adonis? How did it end? Yeah, no, Apple's definitely not buying Disney. They wouldn't let that happen. Is your sub power gamer? What they're thinking of selling is all their streaming services to Apple. Ah, even that I don't see happening. All good, Adonis. No worries. It's just literally, that's, it's just not how it works right now. Mm 
Thanks to the resub, Melon. Apple TV been making banger after banger. They have succession, succession and what else? Is Crowded Room Apple? I don't remember. I think Crowded Room is also Apple. Silo and Ted Lasso. Oh, Succession's not Apple? Oh, I was thinking Severance. That's what I was thinking. Severance. I don't know what kind of games you like, John. There's a lot of games that have come out recently. 2023's been a fucking heater. Yeah, it makes sense, Jay. Did you see the people behind Celsius are being charged? Yep. Here's the bits, John. Souls-like games? I mean, we just had Wulong. That's Souls-like. I thought it was good. The resub slap. You gonna play Remnant 2? Yep. Did you see they executed a warrant in the Tupac case? Oh, yeah, chat said something about that earlier. I forgot to look it up. I can't believe they're still having breakthroughs in this case. When when did he get killed? It's got to be close to like 25 years ago, right? Home searched in Tupac murder investigation. Thanks to the resub JFED. 1996, god damn. Police searched a home in Las Vegas area on Monday night in the long dormant murder case of Tupac, according to police. LVMPD can confirm a search warrant was served in Henderson, Nevada on July 17th as part of the ongoing Tupac homicide investigation. We will have no further comments at this time. I can't believe it's still ongoing. This is like some shit right out of a movie. Like there's still like a department that's just dedicated to finally cracking the case and solving it. That's good. I, I mean, I'm glad to hear that. Las Vegas homicide detectives and prosecutors determined by Monday night that they had enough information to proceed with a court-authorized search, an official brief on... Uh, court-authorized search, an official brief on the investigation told ABC News. The search was conducted at 10 p.m. local time. With SWAT on hand, the scene was described as loud, with police using bullhorns and lights. Among the items sought by investigators were computers, laptops, and articles about Tupac and his death. The evidence in this case is now being presented to the Las Vegas Grand Jury. Well, like, what house did they search? I'm assuming there were people here, yeah? What's their connection? They did say long dormant, so they must have had some sort of unrelated breakthrough. Dormant just means no new developments. Usually they wouldn't say it is long dormant. I feel like they'd call it a cold case. Cold cases are the ones that don't really have any active investigations anymore. Dormant just means, like, maybe still investigated here and there, but nothing big would be my understanding of it. Because they have an official name for it. It's a cold case. When there's no investigation being done anymore. No charges have been filed. The investigation is expected to continue for weeks to months. Investigators have long believed the gunman is likely already dead. The victim of a separate shooting two years after a Vegas drive-by. The current investigation could lead to a determination of who was in the car with the gunman when the rounds were fired that killed Tupac. That could lead to someone being charged as an accomplice. But the, officials but the official cautions that charging decisions have not been made yet. The Tupac probe, after going unsolved for more than 20 years, gained new momentum after 2018, the official told ABC News. Detectives re-engaged in the case after Netflix aired 
Unsolved the Tupac and Biggie Murders in 2018 in the book Compton Street Legend by Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Kef D., who has said he is one of two living eyewitnesses to the shooting, came out in 2019. It is wild. This is like the fifth time that a Netflix production has led to a case being reopened with breakthroughs. Isn't that fucking wild? Is the recent Dark Horse and Sharul? Tier 1 Shane. I'm very curious to see what comes from this. There's a resub factor in Liam. Isn't it just assumed it was a hit by P. Diddy? I've actually never heard that theory. There's a resub shadow. You've been on old school RuneScape since maxing? Yeah, I've actually been grinding Vorkath every day. Trying to green log all bosses, so I'm starting with Vorkath since I already had like 880 when starting, so now I'm at like 980. It's literally the most used theory. I didn't know that. I've actually never heard that theory. M beefs with Diddy because he really thinks Diddy called the hit. Thanks to the Prime Kai. And the Resub Fundy. Yeah, I wooks walk when doing Vork. Oh, that was in the diss track on MGK. Gotcha. Is he resub somebody? Is he resub ethereal? MGK hasn't made a rap song since that disc. Yeah, he did. Didn't he release a rap song like three months ago? I think he did. <clears throat> At some point. I don't feel like looking it up, though. He's a prime that boy. And Wolf. The reset Wolf. Have you seen his Ariel's cover? Yeah.
MGK was in Bird Box, wasn't he? Yeah, and you just reminded me. Did you guys even know that the new Bird Box movie is out? I haven't heard a single person talk about this. Insurie Subweb. Is it bad? Huh. I thought the first one was fine. It wasn't amazing, but it was fine. Like, I liked it. I thought the first one was a huge success. Yeah, it's still like their top five biggest Netflix original movie, I think. That thing was a huge phenomenon. <clears throat> Wonder why it wasn't marketed as much? Yeah, I have no idea. Is it recent or oranges? And no, not really. There's rumors of Sandra Bullock and Brendan Fraser for Ma and Pa Kent in the new Superman movie. Why? <laughs> that does I love Brendan Fraser, but why? I mean, any role is good for him. Like I, I'm happy to see it. I just don't get the point unless they have like a sizable role. Is there sub tango? And the kints are really important in most Superman media. Not fucking really. Did you already forget this? Um. I just wanna do something Still probably the worst death in all of cinema. Like, I'd be so upset if they did this to Brendan Fraser. Kevin Costner sucks. Does he? I don't know. I remember Kevin Costner being a good actor. This is just poop ass roll. <laughs> it's just it's just not good. They gave him a horrible death here. They're watching on like it's a sports game. Yeah. It's fucking trash. Actual trash. I don't know if they're always important in Superman media, but fuck me, that was bad. Couldn't he just, like, crawl? He could have done, like, anything. He hurt his foot, so he couldn't run, but, like, 
Superman probably didn't even need to use powers to get there in time. He probably could have jogged. Like, they weren't that far away. Like, the dog somehow went from the car all the way to the house in the split second it took him to open the door. So I feel like Henry could have just ran and just been like a fast runner. Things are sub mercy. Things are sub overlord and broski. Reese of Huey, you think you're gonna outrun a tornado? Were you not watching? Bro, the fucking dog did. And like six other people. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, it seems like it wasn't that fast moving. Like, he, he wouldn't have needed Superman to like unveil that he has powers. It looks like he could have just ran there in time and like carried him. You're mistaken. He sacrificed himself to stop the natural disaster. Uh, Kevin Costner went into the tornado and started, like, swimming the opposite way in order to dissipate it. The resub insanity hug in the prime far. And the resub shroob. Sub Sesho. Favorite Paradox. Probably Fermi's Paradox. That one's always very interesting. That's always a fun one. Have you heard of the new MW2 update? Mm -mm. Is it bad per usual? That does sound like a, a juicy headline, Jay. I haven't seen anything on that. Oh, you're talking about, like, putting Homelander in it? Yeah, I saw. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I, I don't think it's going to save the game, but, I mean, it's cool. I think it's a prime temp.
I think you'll ever do another workout stream. Yeah, I might start doing those again. We'll see. Do you have a favorite news story or drama moment from this year so far? Uh, there's been a lot of, like, wacky shit. I'd have to really think about it. Thanks the Prime 9 and the resub Maxwell. Things are disappear. There is a blade. Of course, I'm gonna see Oppen Oppenheimer. Did you go to arcades when you were younger? Yep. Best arcade ever is Disney Quest. Rest in peace. They tore it down to make the NBA experience at Disney Springs, and then the NBA experience immediately failed already. So they should just redo Disney Quest. This shit was amazing. Oh, it was so good. It had so many, like, crazy arcade games, too. The VR didn't age well, but they had, like, roller coaster simulators with an entire setup. Oh, it was so good. Five stories of just games. That was the create your own music station down there. That's where I made my hit song, Let's Party 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 Tonight. Oh, this one I always hated though. This was a really popular one on like the arcade cabinet floor. God damn it. So what it is, you can only kind of see it. There's like 20 bumper blasters. I don't even know what the fuck these are. Like you just stand up here and then you just like fucking slap it around. And then random shit happens on screen. It's supposed to be like a pinball game, but it like doesn't work. And it never worked. Yeah, we have Universal here. God, they had so many cool games. Oh, this was a cool one. This is the Buzz Lightyear shooter game. So you get into these cars that come with little, you know, like, kickballs, and you fire them out of a cannon at other cars. This place was, it was the shit. It was so good. This video is not doing it justice for just how many games it had. And some of them were cutting edge for its time back in the early 2000s, like this one right here. This comic book one that has like pre-alpha ergot. That was an early VR game that had like a lightsaber that you'd go in with and beat the shit out of other players and the comic book guys. Well, not, not other players, but like the comic book bad guys. Man, that place was great. But yeah. That's really, like, the only good arcade ever. Dave & Buster's is kind of just, like, mobile games. There's a tier one, Sophia. Why do things like this not exist anymore? Because brick and mortar's dead. Everything's digital now, everything's online, it's more convenient, easier. And it's just expensive to go to brick and mortar shit. People don't have that kind of disposable income.
Have any big projects coming up? More MWL, uh, new gentle, new the Gentlemen album EP. So that'll be six songs. That should be within the next couple months. All the songs will be done by next month, but with all the music videos and stuff, it'll be a little bit. Um, I've got a new original anime I've cooked up with a really talented team. Don't know when that'll be ready. Maybe end of the year. It's not Plague Seeker or God Slap. It's something different. What other big projects? Oh, D and D. We're doing uh, we're doing like our own little D twenty or in slash critical role style D and D content. So we did our first one last week, and we're doing another one this week. That's going to take a little while to edit, so I don't know when those will be up, but we built a whole set for it. What other big things do we have cooking up? Eventually going to start doing more basketball content. But that'll just be like streams and stuff. What else? I think those are like the main big things. Is the resub woody and chewy? Who's DM? Oh, it's our friends. It's it's just our friend group. It's not like creator stuff. So we have two different DMs that we're doing two different campaigns to see what feels best. So we're just doing little one-offs, and if they both work, we'll just end up having two separate campaigns. One of them's more sci-fi and the other is grounded more in like traditional fantasy with a bit of a twist. Is there a way to play D&D with people not with you if you have long distance friends? Yeah, there's so many games for D&D. There's so many ways of setting up D&D online now. I know Cartoon Network is officially shut down. I saw on Twitter. But this, we knew it was coming. They had already announced they were shutting it down. I think today was the last day, right? <clears throat> or was it not? Because I saw that big picture outside of Cartoon Network Studio saying they, they wanted like one last big team picture at Cartoon Network. But I don't see any articles written about it. It's just the studio, is it? After the Warner Bros. play, I thought for sure they were... Didn't they make that whole statement about how, like, Cartoon Network itself is shutting down and kind of transitioning more to, like, Adult Swim and streaming content? Or am I completely misremembering? Yeah, they're calling it a strategic realignment. They laid off, like, almost all of the staff as well. Well, the, not almost all of the staff. About half of the staff. Okay, yeah, I guess it looks like they're keep... So it looks like they're keeping the network name alive, but... What do they do now? This just seems like a shell. So what the fuck do they do? Mm. 
Thanks to resub sharp in the prime, Steven. Force them to run te force them to rerun Teen Titans Go all day. Yeah. Oh yeah, so that picture was they're leaving they have to leave that building by August first. That's what that was. And since they've downsized so much, I'm guessing their new location is going to be very different. I, I, I don't know. This is weird. Because it sounds like they're dead in all but name. We'll see. Here's Risa Paco. Risa Super. What happened to them? They made so many favorites. I think they just lost direction over time. And then most people stopped watching TV altogether and just streaming services took over. What show do you think had the best theme song? Like on Cartoon Network or in general? Because in general, my two favorite theme songs probably have to be Vinland Saga Season 1 Survive Said the Prophet. And then my second favorite. Well, I don't even know if that'd be my first favorite, but it's definitely up there. Oh, you're just talking about like old cartoons? Oh, I don't know then. Maybe Samurai Jack. Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko's theme song was alright. I don't think it holds up that well, though. I remembered liking it a lot more. Listen to it again, like, six months ago when we went down this rabbit hole. It's very different than I remember it. Yeah, it's still fine, it's just, I don't know, it's not as good as I remembered it. Yeah. Still fine, but not nearly as cool as I remembered it being. Like tier one. P Noir and the Resub Scotty. Invader Zim was hype. Yeah, it was. Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy had some banging songs in the show itself. The theme song was cool, but they had like really good song moments. Just for no reason. Things are so greasy. Brains is really good. I love that one too, yeah. Prime PZ. What's new Scooby Doo is a good song. Yeah, Simple Plan made that one, I think. So yeah, it is good. Well, I'm 
bunch of shy and scared in this place I'm just a fish out of water from outer space You can see that the trip has left me tired and drained So why don't you be a pal And bring me some bread. Yeah, this song's really cool Okay Don't worry, new buddy I'll get you all sorts of brains There's a bitch waking You heard of the new horror survival horror game called Lit. Okay. Where do no. I find these so-called Check it out, though. Go down to your neighbor's place. See the dull expression on his face. You've been doing him a favor if you brought him to me. He ain't using his brain, he's just watching TV. God, this song is fucking great. That violin's just going so hard. He hasn't had a thought since 43 His brain is the portrait of atrophy He ain't using it, why not give it to me? Brains, brains, I'm alright I'll eat the brains till the sound provide Sure they might think it's deranged But they won't give it a thought after I've eaten their brain Brains, brains, it's okay it's not a I think that's a fiddle, no it's a violin I'm pretty sure They won't think twice if they don't have a brain I'm almost positive it's a violin. I fucking love the violin. I think that is such a beautiful instrument. Like, any song that uses a violin is instantly better for it. Violins and fiddles are the same thing. Oh, are they? Oh, maybe it's a fiddle then. Who knows? Fucking beautiful instrument. It's difficult to play. I know we have one at the warehouse. Caleb's been trying to learn it. That shit sounds like ass most of the time. I can't play it at all. There's the prime saucer. I especially love violin in metal. Like, I think it fits so fucking well in that genre. Like, there's a band that's really become kind of known for it called Eminence. I don't know if anyone knows this group. They're pretty popular. I'm sure some of you do. So their lead singer is like a violinist. I think. So they, they have violin woven deeply into their tracks. It goes so fucking hard. You play any instruments? Nope. Played guitar in middle school. That's about it. I played the theremin with a flashlight. Played the recorder a little bit. Any, like, goofy instrument. Melodica. I've dabbled with every goofy instrument. You ever play the jaw harp? Yeah. That one's like painful to play. That one just whacks my fucking teeth. I don't know how you're supposed to play it. Yeah, the jaw harp, it's the... I'm sure you've all seen it. This thing. You're going to need a jaw harp, a real jaw harp, not a Snoopy harp. If you got a Snoopy harp, those things don't work. Maybe someone just, like, shredding it. looks painful it is it, all it ever did was just blast my fucking teeth i'm lucky i didn't crack my like uh, incisors
This guy's pretty good. I could never get it to do that. It sounds digital. No, I mean, that's the noise it's supposed to make. It's cool. <laughs> like, that, that'd be really cool to play. You want to know a really cool instrument is, um... Oh, fuck, what's it called? It's like a super expensive noise machine from a long time ago. Oh, God, this is going to make me upset. It's like the piano, and you start, like, yanking on some nuts up here, and it goes, wingo, 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 and it, like, makes all the cartoon sound effects. What's it called? Is it the hurdy gurdy? It might have been the hurdy gurdy. Yeah, no. What? This isn't it. It's like a giant fucking machine. What the fuck is the hurdy gurdy though? That's pretty good. God, that's cool. I think it was the photo player. I think you're right, Tankin. Let me see. Yep, that's the one. Hit it, Joe. It's an old viral video. This is a real instrument, Dang. though. Hit it, Joe. I'd love to learn to play this. Well, even though I think it plays itself. <laughs> so I wouldn't need to learn much. This thing looks so fucking fun. They got Bugs and Daffy in that thing. What's crazy is this was made back in like the 30s or something. This shit is old. And it's like an auto-playing machine. God, that thing is cool. It was the first stream deck. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, the water phone's... The water phone's pretty cool. This one's for horror movies. So you see this one a lot for, like, horror sound effects. <laughs> Yeah, it's designed to be creepy sounding, that's the whole point. I, I have a theremin. I tried to learn the theremin, but it's not easy at all. Oh, Daniel Thrasher recently experimented with a theremin too.
Yeah, so the way it works, from what I remember, this hand controls volume, basically. This one controls pitch. So that's why I have to work them both together, which is why with his, uh, with his left hand, he's working the volume like that. And then the right hand, the closer you get, the higher the pitch, the higher you go. Can't remember. So like, but that's kind of how it works, basically. I still have my theremin around here somewhere. It's cool. I mean, it's a very cool thing. Mine didn't work this well, though. Mine was some straight cheeks. I could not get it to make any real sounds. Or any real, like, harmonies. Ludwig just bought an $800 theremin. Hey, Godspeed to him. But you don't even have to use your hand. The only thing you need is something to get close to this rod. So, the video's not up anymore, but I did one, I tried to do a concerto with a flashlight. So basically concerto, flashlight major. I could get like a little bit going, not much. But the video I had to take down because the Fleshlight company didn't like that it was being used for a theremin. <laughs> they actually reached out and told me to. That was like five years ago now. It wasn't an Adam and Eve Fleshlight. It was a, like, it, I got it at a very podunk sex shop. Like, I bought it for the sole purpose of playing the theremin with it, because I recognized that you didn't need to be your hand, it could be anything, I thought it'd be cool to try and do, like, a fleshlight concert. So I just bought, like, a really cheap generic one, and they reached out and said that they were very upset about how it was being used, and asked me to take it down. Is the resub Macaroon and Aaron the bits teach on. Why would that be a problem? I don't know, but I wasn't going to fight them on it. Yeah, of course I've seen Winter Garden. Have you ever seen Spoon Lady? I think so. That sounds familiar. I, I know pretty much every little obscure goofy instrument. I, I really went on this bender of trying to learn goofy instruments. So I've familiarized myself with a lot. <clears throat> no, I was never good at any of them. Gotta learn the hurdy-gurdy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to learn the hurdy-gurdy now. That one's cool. Hurdy-gurdy is a Sea of Thieves instrument. I believe it. I mean, it's fucking cool. It sounds like it'd work really well in a pirate game. Did you get a slide whistle? I have a slide whistle. There's not a whole- this one I mastered. There's really not a whole lot you can do here with just a slide whistle. It 
See, pretty much master it there. So I was great with the slide whistle. Man's working it like a fucking trombone. <laughs> this is sounding great. Wow. This is much better than me with the slide whistle. Nice. I didn't even know it could get to that level where it doesn't sound like anything more than a cartoon sound effect. Gotta get the Aztec death whistle. I know what you're talking about, was it? I didn't know it was Aztec. This is the one where it's like the war sound, so it's supposed to be like screaming. What, do I just... It's already... Do I film you doing it? Yeah. Or just to... This isn't the... That's not the good one. Where's the good one? They're all using like these $5 store-bought ones. Here we go. Day of the dead celebration. And this... Music to my ears. Yep. That's a fine instrument. Your grandma is a 1902 automatic piano? Your grandmother's a goddamn liar. I believe the first automatic piano was in the 30s. We were actually just talking about that. I'm gonna double check though before really putting some disrespect on your grandma's name though. Is it, yep. 1924, oh wait, no, no, no. That's when they started to be like commercially available. Oh, your grandmother just barely gets away with it. It looks like the first one for sale was in 1901. <laughs> All right. Okay, then. But the blueprint, the first blueprints were 1896. For the pianola. The ancient Celtic Carnix is crazy. There's an instrument I've actually never heard of, surprisingly. Carnix? 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 What is this? This thing's pretty cool. Oh! Hit like a fucking scat man on it there. 
Yeah, I've never seen that one. That's pretty cool. You ever played the didgeridoo? Nah. I didn't get a didgeridoo. Is it resub nade and smippy? The Cusa? Oh. I don't... I don't know this one either. What is this, just like a hand drum? What is this Brazilian friction drum is, is traditionally used by samba schools. It produces an exotic sound which allows to be used in many different situations other than traditional samba. Its unusual sound is used for percussion effects in a wide range of music. You get the sound by rubbing a stick fixed to the drum head, inside the drum. It just sounds like after you take a shower and you like rub your freshly clean hair and it makes little squeaks. What, what's, like, how, what can you do with this to make it sound good? It's used in a lot of samba? If I heard that in a song, I would have thought something went wrong during the editing. I don't know, it doesn't really make like a, like a music sound that much. Like it sounds like two things rubbing against a slick surface. Austin Powers. Wait, is that what it uses in the middle part where it's like Is that is that that? That's when that comes in? No way. Wait, now I gotta hear that. They use that in the Austin Powers theme? So that's that right there then. So that was all. I always thought that was just a person making noises. I thought it was going hip, 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 hip. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. I had no idea. Things the resub cat. I've seen that soup. These are the bits kit. The one note flute. It's a bamboo flute playing only one note. That's, That's a good note though. The only note you can get out of that flute. But the pygmies who are uh, the inventors of this flute are clever people and I'm, um, I'm glad to tell about the pygmies around the world because when I was um, a boy, a little boy, they, they taught me that the pygmies... Sounds very clean though. Yeah, it's a great note. Just because they live in the forest, which isn't true. You know, it's not... So you do like a whole performance of it? ...to the flute by saying... And all the music you can make with this flute is a conversation between man and oh, I see. musical instrument. I think this is interesting. And I uh, underlined this uh, and, and I point, point it out because not, not everywhere in the world you can find this characteristic 
uh, you should pay me. Uh, <laughs> have no That's cool. So it's it's less about the instrument here and more about like a compliment. Like a like supplementary. Yeah, it's cool. I've never heard of that one before either, the one note flute. Things we give sub Pentagon, there you sub Dylan and Tylo. The hand pan. <laughs> this sounds like nothing, <laughs> but sure. Oh! I know this. This isn't is this isn't called the hand pan, isn't it? It has an actual name. Can't remember the actual name though, but I don't think it's the hand pan. This has fifty nine million views though in a hand pan performance. Holy shit. Like a James Bond soundtrack. Yeah, no, it's a very cool instrument. This one's like really actually super like soothing sounding. Yes, there's a, a lot of street performers actually play this instrument. I've seen quite a few videos of that. It's like a steel drum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar. I don't think it's the same, though. He's a tier one shadow. Tier one Russell and the resub bum and do you. There's a thing called a C organ. The Zadar C organ. This looks very peaceful. Smart. Things are prime. Amazing. And there you said Rain and Sam. The spindle Monica I've never heard of. Well, that wasn't a real... Oh, are you talking about the glass harmonica? I know this one. And this one's cool. ...have a lot more glasses and be able to play more than two at a time, so... Voila! One of Franklin's favorite inventions. So uh, these are all wine glass, basically custom blown wine glasses, and they're all nested inside of each other. And the whole assembly is turning, so you can play it somewhat piano-like. It's cool, but it's a huge pain to maintain. Here's a little bit from the Lucia. Well, I bet, yeah. God, that's fucking cool, though. And Mozart also wrote some music for it. Here's a bit of uh, a solo piece that he wrote. 
Mozart wrote music for the glass harmonica? Some nutcracker shit. Damn, that thing is so cool. All of those wacky instruments are just so interesting. Mozart wasn't deaf? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? You're immediately getting that shit mixed up. Mozart wasn't deaf, man. Things the bit soup in Epitomic. Is it prime fluffy? Oh yeah, Mozart was, Mozart was a weirdo. That guy was very quirky. He wrote some interesting shit. Lick me in me arsh. Lick me in my ass. That, that guy had, he had some quirk to him. Wasn't Mozart a scatologist? The fuck is a scatologist? He didn't, like, study shit. Yeah, I think he had a shit fetish, maybe. Let me see. Oh, wait, what? Mozart and scatology. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, what? <laughs> Here's a letter dated to November 5th, 1777. Mozart's cousin, Maria Anna Thecla Mozart, is an example of Mozart's use of scatology. Well, I wish you good night, but first, shit in your bed and make it burst. Sleep soundly, my love. Into your, math, into your mouth, your arse you'll shove. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful work, Mozart. Huh, yeah, I guess so. I had no idea. Is the resub uncle? Why is it rhyme in English? They translated it. Wow, it looks like he wrote quite a few of these. Like, he wrote a lot of letters, apparently. All about shitting. Uh, Margaret Thatcher was apprised of Mozart's scatology during a visit to the theater to see Peter Schaeffer's play Amadeus. I've actually seen that. But <laughs> we just talked about this guy last night, but my music teacher in college made us watch Amadeus. That's where I get all of my Mozart knowledge from. And that music teacher is the one I was talking about last night that is serving 17 years in jail after getting st caught in a sting operation trying to fuck a 13-year-old. So according to this, she was not pleased. In her headmistress style, she gave me a severe wigging for putting on a play that depicted Mozart as scatological. So this is like a really well-known thing. Is the Risa Branch and Lepia? Mozart pranked a lot of people, apparently. Yeah, he was a bit of a trickster. Thirty nine of Mozart's letters include scatological passages, and they're mainly directed at his own family, specifically his father, Leopold. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, here's another one. 
Adio bin mio. Keep well, my love. Into your mouth, your arse you'll shove. I wish you good night, my dear, but first shit in your bed and make it burst. He really likes that one. He's used that twice now. Yeah, he made a whole song about it. Licking it. Thanks to tier one soup and the recent plastic. The bits, Irwin. To be fair, Requiem rocks. It's a great piece. It really is. Mozart doesn't really have any bad pieces <laughs> like he legitimately was a genius and a prankster with a scat fetish or something i guess yeah he was very weird he was kind of quirky but like he was extremely talented
the fact that he's still talked about to this day he's not the only one composers like this i mean they're still to this day like massive celebrities i mean think of something like john williams right we still recognize talent like this and i feel like john williams name will be talked about for hundred like a hundred years from now he's a prime lethal you also have yeah other was like beethoven you got bach all the big all the big boys Yep, Hans Zimmer. He's a prime D-man. But there are probably not a lot of celebrities. Talking about back then? Yeah, there was. Not till, Mozart was like an actual super celebrity for his day, but there were still other celebrities. Celebrities as a concept has existed for like as, lo as long as humanity has, really. <clears throat> it's not like a modern concept. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good, that's a good question, Awesome. I really have no idea. Moses, the OG celebrity. Yeah, Moses was OG. Thanks, the resub freak. He's the prime Finlock. You know, Kurt Cobain made paintings using shit and cum. No, it's not surprising to hear, but I did not know that. Can't say I'm the most knowledgeable Kurt Cobain guy. He's a prime transit. Mm. You not like Nirvana? I do. It's just I don't really know a ton about Kurt Cobain other than the suicide and the drugs. You ever heard the theory that Shakespeare is actually a pin name used by multiple people? Yep. We actually went over that on stream like, a, what, two years ago or something? That's a very interesting theory, and I think it's probably right. The more I thought about it, the more I started to believe that it was probably multiple people using the Shakespeare pin name. I don't think it was one guy. He's a tier one hypnotic. What are your thoughts about music now? What do you mean? Like today's modern music? I think we live in the best age ever for music because no matter what your tastes are you can find anything and millions of 
millions of songs for every genre. The Prime Gabriel. Music music is so accessible now, it's so great. Yeah. You can just self-produce your own tracks. So, the, the availability of music for every genre is astounding. There's never been a better time in history for music. When is the next Gentle Minute drop? It'll be this year within the next couple months. We got six songs ready. Just gotta get them mixed and mastered. I mean like new songs coming out today that are popular. I mean that's the... It still stands. As like an independent artist you can push out something and it gets popular. Unless you're talking about, like, Billboard Top 100, I guess. But even there, like, that's just one gauge of popularity. Like, there's artists that are small on YouTube but big on Spotify that you've probably never heard of that are popular. Do you have a favorite music genre? Yeah, metal. That's my go-to. When's the next Plague Seeker coming out? It'll be by the end of the year. Issue one's very long. Yeah, no, that's what I was saying, Soup. I saw the video that was made by that YouTuber about it. I th if it's the same thing you're talking about, maybe it's not, but I'm pretty sure it was. And this shit was foul. Give us some new tunes to listen to. I made a music, pl or I'm still actively making a music playlist with all of my iPod tracks, or at least most of them. It's exclamation point music. It's a big blend of like extremely popular shit that I still like and music that has actually 10 views on YouTube. I think it's up to like 900 something songs, so I still have like 400 more to go. It's a bit soup. Different video, same creator. Oh, okay, then I'll have to check that one out. He's a prime chill. The five gift subs Gare Bear. 1,084 songs is crazy. Brother, that's like 20 years of music collection through like the dumpster and obscure websites finding like 
songs I like. That's 20 years of finding some shit that I guarantee no one's ever fucking heard of. Like, I think the first band in there is in the clear, right? Because I went alphabetical order. This band only ever had, like, 10 album sales, album sales ever. And, like, half of these views are me over the last 20 years. Thanks to the gift sub Lambo. Does it... Like, when you put in perspective how long I've been building that catalog, it's not that much. Is it tier one Gaelic? The resub noodle? You know, like Deftones? Yeah, Deftones is probably my favorite band. Over 20 years and not a single one of their songs has ever lost its luster for me. Things you said bubblegum. Prime Hank. Dude, yours is very good, yeah. He's a prime sky. You ever seen metal bands live before? I've only been to like one metal concert and it wasn't any bands I actually wanted to see. So I didn't really like it that much. Is it tier one hyperactive? And the resub dead shot. Do you think Oppenheimer movie is going to be good? Yeah, I absolutely think it's going to be good. You ever listen to Dur and Gray? Yeah, they're alright. No, I'm not watching Barbie and Oppenheimer in the same day. I'm gonna watch Barbie first, then Oppenheimer. I'm not gonna sit through fucking six hours worth of movies back to back. You listen to Alexis on Fire? Love Alexis on Fire. It's, their tracks are so fucking nostalgic. Yeah, in that in that playlist you're gonna find bands you've never heard of in your fucking life. <laughs> I still think this band released one of the most criminally underrated albums ever. I'm probably the only person that ever even listened to this album. And I found it through this channel actually. The only way to get to it is by going to their auto uh, topic channel that comes up. The band's called No Ghost. I think this whole album is so good. 
So you're gonna find some like crazy shit in there. I don't think Barbie's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be fun bad. Yeah, Barbie will be first. It's like legitimately the biggest throwback metal court sound, and I think it's so good. <laughs> I, I think this is such a highly underrated album. DMCA? Brother, this band I don't think ever sold a single album through Bandcamp, unfortunately. Just slid under the radar, as so many talented groups do. It's such a shame. Things that give some thirst, Sam. Isn't that sad? I know, man. You could have all the talent in the world, but it's all a matter of if you get lucky enough that people find you. There's really not a bad song in this whole fucking album. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Exit Prime, Raphael. Gives me Bring Me the Horizon vibes. Kinda. It's just very, like, normal metalcore, but done really well. <laughs> I think it's great. Is the band still making music? Nope. Most of the bands you'll find on my playlist aren't making music anymore. Like the smaller bands. Yeah, I used to like old Bring Me The Horizon. I even like new Bring Me The Horizon. I still think their sound is good. This would have been a hit in the 2006s. Yeah, maybe. Of course I'm gonna play Remnant 2 when it comes out. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of wacky shit on that playlist. How you find them? I used to go through like new releases on Bandcamp through like the Gint voice crack Gint category and metalcore, and then I used to just download albums from like this fucking weird Russian website that just dumped every single album ever made. So I just go to like metalcore Gint categories, and I'd find just the most obscure shit ever. Is the resub gray? Oh, got gotcha, you, soup. Okay. No Ghost is still making music? Where? Granted, I haven't checked in like two years now, but last I checked, they hadn't had a new song come out since uh, this album. That's great news, though. I hope they have the same energy as this album, because this shit went hard.
You were in an old band, Jay? Onidon Loki? <laughs> okay. What kind of music is it? <clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna look it up up here. This might bring up weird results. I don't even know if these are real words besides Loki. <laughs> the description is just my uncle's band. Oh, nice. That's super cute. Yeah, no, it sounds good. It's cool. You know a band called Nightwish? Yeah, of course. Nightwish, Planet Hell, RuneScape, Falador Massacre, 666. Never forget. Of course I'll Moistmeter Oppenheimer. This is nice, Jay. You guys still together? Oh, this was 12 years ago. <laughs> I, I think the answer's probably no. That's cool, though. What's that song again? That was Onadon Loki. What was this? The resub mayo. And the bit soup. Oh, it was a song. I thought that was another video from the channel. My bad, soup. I totally misunderstood. You heard about Z Zo Zub? I don't know what that is. Darkness. Ladonna E. Oh, this is Verdi. Everyone knows this guy. This guy's a legend. This is like one of the most popular performances like ever. Oh, this guy. Yeah, everyone knows this guy. That will actually get me DMCA'd, though. You see, UMG made a deal with TikTok. Nah, didn't see it. Don't really care, though. That's cool. Have you heard Ryan Gosling's band, Dead Man's Bones? This is Ryan Gosling's band? In the room where you sleep.
You've never heard Dead Man's Bones? No, man. Let me hear like an official recording. Here, we'll do this one. Yeah, not not exactly my kind of music. Cool for Ryan Gosling though. I would have expected Ryan Gosling's music to sound like Kavinsky, Night Call. I don't know that band soup. I'll check them out. Have <laughs> you heard of Jared Leto's band Thirty Seconds to Mars? Yeah, I can say what yeah, I can say I have. Jared Leto hasn't had a good acting role in fucking twenty years now, but god damn it, thirty seconds to Mars tunes are timeless. Have you heard Homegrown? Uh, it sounds familiar. Couldn't tell you any of their songs, though. Mm. Oh, that's sad to hear, Soup. Any speedrun challenges coming up? Yeah, just waiting for, uh... Waiting for some confirmation on the one that we're we're looking to do. Once we get that, we're we're ready to go. <sighs> I haven't heard of it. Sevenfold's new album. you like besides metal? Plenty of other things, it's just that's the main genre I listen to. The only genre I've never found a single song I like in is country. I know it's like a basic bitch thing to say, but that is legitimately the only genre that hasn't had a single song I've liked, ever. Except for, um, Junior Brown, Highway Patrol. Thanks for the bits and bips. Yeah, I know, I'm just working for the state. I'm the highway Thanks patrol. Thanks for the bits, bits. You just haven't heard good country. There is legitimately no such thing. I have never heard a country song ever that I've liked. Oh, you know what? Actually, two songs Junior Brown and Chillionaire. Big Iron. Eh. It's a fun song. It's not a song I'd ever like listen to. Sit, sit, sit right here and just 
I mean, really, really, really a lot. Yeah. It doesn't get better better than that in country. I'll tell you what. That and truck, yeah. Uh, past that, there's no good country, really. Exit a bit soup. Friday night football, Saturday last call, Sunday, hallelujah. If you like it up loud, does Ram Ranch count? Truck, yeah! <laughs> this is, I mean, yeah, this is the kind of good country you're talking about, right, brother? Mmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's country basically. I don't know. I've heard the good country songs. And I fucking hate them. At least these make me giggle. Truck, yeah. Sixteen tons, probably if it's a popular country song. Wheeler Walker Jr. Oh, and Wheeler Walker Jr. Yeah, he's he's like the only consistently great country artist. God damn it. Redneck shit. Eating pussy. Kicking ass. Can't say I'm familiar with the thin soup. I'll have to look at it. Didn't he say he's banned in so many music platforms? Wheeler Walker Jr.? I don't know why he would be. His music's not like that aggressive or anything. I mean, shit. The song we made, Filthy, goes far grosser than his music. His is like very tame. I tell my brothers, but I love that redneck shit. Like it's it's just good. It's like wiggly, wiggle your finger kind of tunes. The salt in the swing. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Thrax. Eating pussy and kicking ass. That song gets stuck in my head a lot. It's a bit soup. You don't know country, bro? I know every popular country song. I just don't like them. It's just not for me. It's the only genre I consistently don't like. In every other genre, I can find songs that I really enjoy, except country. It's the only one.
any reason. I don't know, it just doesn't click with me. I feel like half of the country song, I think it was Bo Burnham that said this, like, with his country song, but it feels like half of them are just, like, the most generic statements ever put into the same exact formula. I, ta- I talked about this a while ago. Like, I was going on a country bender, just kind of giggling about the songs, and, like, they write about actually everything that any one person knows. So, like, there's a whole song, I think it's Luke Bryan, about working at the night shift, and it's like, Working at the night shift, baby. Like, it's it's all just this exact same thing. And then there's always, like, truck, cornfield, beard, blue jeans. Like, I know that's, a, like, a big meme, but it's super true for all of the big popular country songs. Zuri sub rib. I know the channel, the presso. All right, I'll look up sixteen tons. I don't know the song. It better be some good country. What the fuck is this? Well, that's not country. So. People say a man is made out of mud A poor man's made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood and skin and bones A mind that's weak and a back that's strong You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call Still me pretty, This is pretty cool I go. I owe my It's definitely not country, but it is pretty cool store. Yeah, it's more like country bluesy kind of. It's a prime dump. Grew up on country in the 90s, can't stand it anymore. Yeah, I grew up on country as well. My parents used to really like country. They don't anymore now, but they did when I was younger. I heard a lot of country music. I just never really liked it. Still don't. There's like an odd song here and there. Some Johnny Cash, which is like the only like saving grace of country really. And that's kind of a stretch. I wouldn't even really consider Johnny Cash like country country, but... I don't know. I've just never really enjoyed any of the country music I've heard. Is Reese of Mellon the prime eccentric in Catrix? Jason Aldean got a lot of controversy with his song Try That in a Small Town. <laughs> Just even that fucking song name. <laughs> like, it's just the most country shit ever. I bet it's about, like, a new girl coming into town and, like, everyone's like, Oh, that's the new girl in town. I'm about to give her some directions and hope that she invites me over. 
because that's like a very common one as well. No, it's about killing people. Oh, that's interesting. That's, can't say I'm familiar with many killing country songs. I think it gives some melon. The bit soup. I like Pierce the Veil. I like one song from Pierce the Veil. Pins and Knives. Right, that's Pierce the Veil, right? Not Blue Veil, uh, not Black Veil Brides. I think that's them. Yeah, that's like the only song from them I actually like, though. That is Black Veil Brides. What the fuck is the Pierce the Veil song I like, then? Let me see. It's one of their popular ones. King for a day, that's the one. Next the bits Satanva. Like Mastodon. Alright, I like two songs. Crack the Sky and um, Oblivion. No, I'm not playing Big Iron. That's a DMCA issue waiting to happen. I'm going to bed, though. I'm getting tired now. Okay. Sleep well, everyone. New subs, welcome aboard. Thank you. Have a great night. Tomorrow I might try and get Shadow Run set up so I can finally try that. But we'll see. As long as it's an easy setup. Sleep well, everybody. Um, oh, light streaming. I'll toss you to light. I haven't seen him stream in, like, a year.